Alrighty guys, we're back in the car. I feel like this is where all my videos start right now, in the, in the car, all the intros, but um, we're gonna go check out a piece of public uh, right outside of town here. And then we're gonna see, last year there's a bunch of rubs and scrapes in there, so we're gonna see if those deer, if any of those deer made it through, see what we can find. And then we're probably gonna spend only like 20 minutes there, and then we're gonna head down and hunt this evening over some water. So it's warm, it's 80 degrees. I wanted to get out and film one more time. Um, we didn't see any deer, so hopefully we see some deer tonight, and I can get them on film for you guys. All right, we're gonna be hustling now. We got our stuff. We're ready to go. We're gonna go sit in this creek bottom back here and see if anything comes up to one of these ponds, old farm ponds. See if they need something to drink tonight. So it's warm, but we're gonna get near water and hope something comes in. So it's October fourth, I think. Yeah, October fourth. Here we go. When people talk about. This hunt is over before it even started. I bumped at least 10 doe out of this bottom. I got in late. Shocker. And uh, yeah, it's just been, uh, it's been crazy. It's been nuts. So we're going to set up here. I mean, they could, there could still be something maybe in this bottom, but I'm not sure. I'm just over. This is bottom. There's a couple ponds in here. So, we'll see if anything comes out. There's a logging road right here I could shoot to. Um, I'm going to move one, one stick here so if I can, I can get a shot at something. But if it would come up, we'll see. But we are late today. We found them, but we're late. So, we'll see how tonight goes. But gotta get out there to kill him I guess but tonight was maybe not the smartest idea to come all the way in this bottle but live and you learn well we had a very uh we we saw some deer not here but we saw some coming in so we didn't see any while we were set up Okay, so I wanted to kind of take a second and explain what exactly happened in this next part of the video. So we were set up in this creek bottom and we bumped a ton of deer out. And as we were moving out and back on the trail where we'd seen those doe earlier, we jumped up that 10 pointer that I'd seen earlier. Now it's really dark and you're not gonna be able to see it on video. I'll roll the clip because it was, I mean, I don't even know if it was legal shooting light anymore. It was enough for me to see that was a big deer, and in my binoculars, which collect more light than your eyes, I could just make out his frame knowing it was that deer. So I'm going to throw the clip on here, but that's what happened. It's kind of, it's it's very, it's about a three second clip that you can see it before the camera bl gets blurry because it's so dark out. But that's kind of what happened. The deer you actually see is another buck he was with. He's already in the thick stuff when you can see this deer on camera. So I wanted to explain that kind of verify that so that this video kind of made sense and you weren't like oh like where that what is that deer because you can't really make out what it is
Alrighty, everybody, it's time for the good, the bad, and the ugly tonight. The good was we saw some good deer, we saw some deer, we saw two decent buck. That was good. Um, it was a really fun night to be out. The bad is that we bumped a lot of doe going in. Doe were everywhere. We kicked doe up everywhere. They were all over the place, going nuts. And the ugly was that we bumped that buck again. We had him at like 60 yards. I thought he might be down there. I was literally knocking an arrow and I saw him take off. So I might have got a little bit on the on the camera. I'm not sure. We'll have to review the footage when we got home. So I feel like I'm just right on him real close, but we're just not there. We're just we just been close with no cigar. So there's some coyotes going crazy around here. There's a bunch of them. So that was fun to hear tonight. So we got everything packed up. And tomorrow we head south to hunt a big cold front coming through south uh, eastern Pennsylvania. So hopefully we can get a buck down there. And if we can't, we'll be back here Monday Monday evening because it's getting the others dropping. It was 80 today. It'll be 70 something tomorrow. When we're in the stand on uh, Saturday, it should be in the in the high 50s. So with a good brisk northwest wind, ready to rock and roll, man. So. That's the good and the bad the ugly. Like always, after hunt, thank God for getting me back here safe. I hope all you guys are having good success so far hunting in the field. And um, if you shot a buck, comment it, comment it down below. Congrats if you did. So if, you, if, you, if you're at this point in the video and you shot a buck, comment it down below. Um, you know, as hunters, we should be pulling for each other. So I hope you guys have had at least seen some deer where you're hunting. And um, good luck the rest of the season. Um, God bless everybody. God bless you guys. Well, we'll give you a little colors update on the fall colors. They're not as good here yet as they are in Clarion. I'll show you in a second. But, um, sorry, they just this around. Probably restart that again. So, I'm going to give you, I'm driving, that's why I'm not looking at the camera. But I'm going to give you a little update on the colors. Um, here, we're right above State College where I'm driving at the moment. And they're not great yet. Uh, once we can see this hill a little bit more, I'll, I'll give you guys an update. But the goldenrod is in you know, color for it. You can see up on the hill a little bit. Some of the yellows are coming in. Some of the reds. But none of the oak trees are anywhere close. Um, I don't know every tree in the freaking mountains, but some of your pretty red maples, you know, that they're starting some of the tops, but Yeah, your birch trees have that nice yellow color to them. They're starting to turn, but um, as far as most of them, it'll be about another two or three weeks. Yeah, you can see up there, they're, we're starting to get some color. We're starting to get some color out of the traffic. All right, well, we'll update you a little bit further here. We got some traffic going on, so that's always fun. Yeah, as you see, we get closer. There's some colors that are starting, but it's nothing that's really dominant yet. It'll be another two weeks, and this place will be really get going on the colors. But there's some, some of the yellows, some of the birch trees. I don't know every tree leaf, um, what it is, but none of the oaks have turned over there. The oaks aren't very pretty usually, but... They add color, so I don't know what's going on here, but something happened. Front is just pushing through. Should be done right in about an hour. And it's go time. For this hunt, I did not get to do an intro to this hunt because when we were going in, uh, there were deer already out in the field. So my uncle bumped a couple from where he was, bumped them to us. So there were deer kind of everywhere. So I could not do an intro for this hunt. Um, I was able to uh, see a bunch of deer, and you'll see that in this hunt. But we were not able to get an intro or an extra. I completely forgot to do an exit video. So this is the intro before you see this hunt. 